Hello, uh, in this video I will be talking about the basic mechanism inside a DSLR camera what happens when you are looking through the viewfinder and everything else so this is mainly targeted for beginners who have bought a new DSLR or are planning to buy one so uh, sit tight and let's start right now DSLR Digital Single Lens Reflex Camera that is the full form now I will explain this why uh, it is termed as such at the end of this video. Uh, before going into the working principle of DSLR, let us first get acquainted with the various parts of a DSLR camera in brief. So first you have is this lens portion which consists of a combination of lenses. I have just drawn the lenses to give an idea of an or rather an understanding. In reality the arrangement uh, differs from lens to lens. Next is the camera body which houses a lot of parts. The viewfinder or the eyepiece is through which you are actually looking through to capture the image. Next is the sensor which processes the image once the light rays fall on it. The shutter screen which opens up once you press the shutter button thus allowing the light to fall on the sensor. The reflex mirror which reflects the light upwards into the pentaprism. Focusing screen and pentaprism which uh, reflects the light rays into the viewfinder or the eyepiece for us to see the image. Now coming to the aperture, now what is it? The aperture is the hole inside the lens which uh, is created by a mechanism called the iris. Now this hole allows the light to pass through it and fall on either the reflex mirror or on the sensor. The aperture can control the amount of light passing through it by increasing or decreasing the hole size as you can see. The circular view is the front view while the one inside the lens is the side view. So it can literally control the amount of light passing through it. Now I will be explaining the aperture and its effect on the final image that gets created along with how you can control it in a completely uh, separate video as it is a different chapter altogether. Now let us understand what is happening when you are seeing through the viewfinder. At this point of time you can actually see the live view through it. Now how does this happen? This is the time when you are half pressing the shutter button for focusing on the subject and you can spot the tiny red rectangles on your screen through the viewfinder. This is when the light travels through the lens onto the reflex mirror which reflects it upwards into the pentaprism through the focusing screen. After a series of reflections inside the pentaprism, the light reaches the viewfinder and we can see the live image. We can also see at that at this point of time the light rays do not fall on the image sensor. So the image processing has not started yet. Now let's see what happens when you press the shutter button of your camera. At this point of time, the mechanism inside your DSLR changes completely. The reflex mirror goes up from its tilted position and the shutter screen opens up simultaneously, as you can see. This enables the light rays from the subject to fall directly on the image sensor, thus the sensor now starts to accept all the details coming through and processes it. The shutter screen remains open for the period you have set it to. This is done through the shutter speed setting in your camera. You can set it to a fraction of seconds to 10, 20 seconds even, depending upon your requirement. I will be explaining this in another video dedicated to shutter speed only, as it is another chapter altogether. Now coming back to the mechanism, you can recall the clicking sound when you press the shutter button. This is when the changes take place in the camera. Since the mirror is now not reflecting the light rays upwards, there is no reflection taking place inside the pentaprism. Hence, no light reaches the viewfinder. And therefore, you cannot see anything through it. All you can see is a black screen for this fraction of a second or the time for which you have set the shutter speed to. 
The view through the viewfinder is restored back when the shutter screen closes down to guard the image sensor and the reflex mirror falls back to its tilted position. Now I said in the beginning I will be explaining why it is called digital single lens reflex. First it has a digital imaging sensor in place of a photographic film. Secondly the viewfinder does not have a separate lens. The single lens which is used presents the image in viewfinder and allows the sensor to capture the image which will not differ substantially from what is viewed through the viewfinder. Now finally the reflex design helps the viewfinder presents a direct optical view through the lens as you must have understood by now. If it was non-reflex the image would have been first captured by the image sensor and then displayed by a digital screen at the back of your camera as you might find in many of the non-DSLR cameras. I hope you have understood the basic mechanism inside a DSLR camera by now. Please hit the subscribe button to see the other videos I upload. Uh, links to my videos explaining aperture, shutter speed and others will be provided in the description below. Thanks a lot and take care.